I can't believe we're actually gonna say this, but we're going to Orlando. Good morning everyone, it's Friday the 13th of May and today is our pre-travel day so we're currently sat at Alicante Airport waiting for our flight with EasyJet to London Gatwick Very busy here It's very busy, I mean it's really good to see but there's loads of queues and not many seats but it's okay because we found actually a really comfy seat for just the two of us so we were up super early this morning it was about half past seven I mean that's not early for everyone else but that's so early for us Yeah but we got about four hours sleep after work yeah we had work last night and we didn't finish until two at least so yeah we're quite tired energy levels are low but the willpower is high and we're so excited aren't we yeah. i mean it's been far too long and it's finally our turn to get back to the magic still don't believe it's happening really no i think until we actually get there and pinch ourselves it won't be real so i mean i've had a cross up this morning you haven't had any breakfast or anything so we might get a little nibble here but we will arrive at london gatwick at two o'clock ish then we've got to go and do our express tests so we've got to do lateral flow yeah fingers crossed i'm sure we'll be fine we did a test yesterday everything was negative which is positive try to avoid everyone at work even though it's difficult oh, it's so difficult because people want to come up and like talk to us and shake our hands and like <laughs> we're constantly sanitizing aren't we yeah but i'm sure we'll be fine so we'll do our tests when we get to gatwick and it'll be about lunchtime so we can have a little snack then and a proper nana nap <laughs> gotta need it so we'll see you in a bit on another note look how cool this phone case is so i got it from primark and it was only four euros, I think it was, on offer. That's gonna keep me entertained for hours. No joke. It's so pretty. Oh. So we're currently stood at our, our gate for our plane. As usual, they call you up like really early and just make you stand there. So I'm just kind of crouching on the floor because I'm super tired. Hopefully they'll um, let us on the plane soon. We can just sit down and have a good old nap. Pretty cool here because you can see through the windows. Well, they're really dirty windows, but you can see through to the, the runway. That's not our plane there. You can't see us. It's just behind this little bit here. So we are on the plane, but um, just got my, uh, what do you call this? Uh, head Headrest. Oh, this little packet, it's such a good headrest. I'd recommend anyone buying this. I think I bought it at Gatwick Airport anyway. It's a Kimbo. It was quite expensive, but worth it. It's memory foam, but unfortunately the memory is, is too good because it's not poofing out again. Because it was wrapped up in its little package, but I think it might have had it. I'll be gutted if it has. I'm hoping it might poof out, but it's been a few minutes. Right, here we go. We've just started pushing back. And we're on our way from Alicante to London Gatwick and it's beautiful blue sky here. I'll be interested to see what it's like at Gatwick. Apparently it's a bit chilly. So we didn't realise that we've got so many photos and videos of dogs on our phone that we got no, no storage left. So Scott's going through deleted. How many do you reckon you deleted so far? Hundreds. Hundreds of mostly, what, doggy photos? Pretty much. And they're just so cute though. Show us one. <laughs> ah. And the doggies have gone off to their doggy hotel. And it's not like a kennel or anything. They actually go and stay in someone's house and they've got like 17 other dogs. So it's great socializing for them. And we think they're happy. <laughs> so Scott's just going through deleting photos and he came across this one. And this was something that I cooked. <laughs> Do you remember what it was? I think it was supposed to be crispy chicken skin. Well, yeah, you know when you roast a chicken, it's like sometimes in a bag, it doesn't go crispy. Or I thought maybe it needed crisping up, so I thought, oh, I'll just put it on these little racks and then put it back in the, maybe in the grill. They I look think like bat wings. They do look like bat wings. I don't think we ate it. No. <laughs> look at you, with your tash. You look like you're from a porn, porn movie. <laughs> Living his best life with his cocktail. Oh, that's mine. 
Bet you had one too though. Cider. Just found a photo of, this is my brother, but with a filter. So he looks like that, normally. But looking at that, do you guys think that we look like each other? I mean, we do look like each other anyway, but with a, a girl filter on. He looks really pretty, doesn't he? <laughs> it's a better, it's an improvement, that's all I can say. This is, this is Scott's one. And that's him as a girl. I would. I know you would. <laughs> Anything with a heartbeat. Look at you, you look chubster. Yeah, I do. <laughs> We've just landed at Gatwick and we're waiting for our suitcases to come through. It was such a smooth flight, wasn't it? Yeah. Really, really smooth. Landing was a bit bumpy. Thought we were gonna go through the fall. But um, yeah, we're here now, so hopefully we can either go get some lunch or go and get our tests done early and then we can get those results through and then a relief. But yeah, I'm just waiting on the bag for now. So guys, we are here in the room. We've just checked into Premier Inn and we've also just done our tests, which was really, really quick and actually painless. We went express, express test. And it was on the North Terminal on the bottom floor and it was straight as you come out of arrivals. And there was a sign on the wall that said, don't sneeze into your hand. And I was thinking, oh my God, when I do tests myself, I can't stop sneezing because I don't know, I must go too far because this guy did it and I was like, do you have a tissue just in case I have a sneezing fit? So he gave me a tissue and then he's like, okay, just five seconds in each nostril. And he did it, it's like, so painless. I was like, oh, you're really gentle. So I didn't end up sneezing at all, but we just need to wait 30 to 40 minutes for our results to come through. But I'm, I'm quietly confident. Well, we tested negative yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, so. that all should be well. Um, what time is it, do you know? 10 past 4. 10 past 4. Um, we haven't had any lunch. We did have, we shared a kids meal in Alicante Airport, but we're quite hungry. So we picked up um, a meal deal for Marks and Sparks just to share. And we've booked a table for half past 7 down at the Premier Inn restaurant, which is always, you know, pretty good, isn't it? Yep. We've got a menu up here, so we'll have a peruse before we go down. And hopefully we can fit in a lovely nap. Ah, I can't wait. So this is the meal deal. I've got some um, black pepper crisps a lemonade and beef and onion with peppercorn mayo so that whole meal deal came to 6.85 i did notice in marks and sparks everything was a lot more expensive i mean marks and sparks is expensive but everything's gone up everything has really gone up more than i think spain oh sorry cut your head off there so scotty has a little injury you want to tell the people yeah i mean some of you might already know i've been suffering the last few days with my back but it's actually in my chest I was helping Millie, our drummer, move some furniture and I was carrying a big cabinet but I was going up the stairs so I put all the weight of the cabinet on, on here and yeah, I'm kind of bruised and it's just really, really sore. I probably didn't help either because I thought if I give him the purple case, he can just wheel it and he's like, I'm in a lot of pain. So I was like, well, why don't you take the other case, my little one, and uh, I'll take the purple one and the other one and... Um, I, just, I, I think just, that's what it was because it was like hoping that I get better because if I'm like this, I won't be able to do anything. I won't be able to get on anything. Well, if you think tomorrow we've got a travel day, the next day our first day is going to be Epcot, and actually we haven't we haven't spoken about what we're going to do. Come sit with me. <laughs> our plans are for this trip. We've got four days staying at Disney. The first four days, and we're staying at our beloved Port Orleans French Quarter. Can't wait. Can't wait for that. And then. Uh, on the fourth day there, we're going to move over to Universal's Endless Summer Surfside. Yep. Which was super exciting for. We've seen the Despicable Three and um, Cheers Ears. They've both stayed there. And obviously it's one of their budget hotels, but it, it's just perfect for what we want. And we're not hiring a car. Um, no driving. Yeah, so you can drink as many margaritas as you want. So excited to, like, to see Jimmy Buffett. Who? I don't know. <laughs> So excited to go to like Margaritaville and because we're Jimmy Buffett obsessed. I don't think you'll see him. No, but to see Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Yeah, so um, that's our plans. So we're not hiring a car, so we're going to give Lyfts or Ubers a go, whichever's cheapest. But from the airport, I would have thought we'll just get a taxi just for, for ease and just to get going. Because we've never actually done that before and don't know what we're doing. So yeah, we're going to have a little snack, shower, possibly a nap. All right, maybe an ibuprofen. Mm, or two. No. I gotta say that this sandwich is actually spot on. It's really, really nice. Can you see how like thinly sliced that beef is? It tastes really good and it's not chewy at all. 
Nice, isn't it? Decent. Lovely. And we're just waiting on our emails to come through. Nothing for you? Nothing yet. Okay. Can't get over that sandwich. It was really good. <laughs> and I said to Scott, I've been saying this for months, years even. I'm not eating aeroplane food because it's just ugh, horrible. I don't like it. So I'll get one of those sandwiches tomorrow and I'll be so happy. I think you're just picky. No, I just can't stand the look of it. Or smell. Oop. <laughs> All right, so we got, oh, a sloppy joe. Hawaiian premium, premier club. Black and blue, double cheese, so lots of burgers. Nice burgers. Mm, I know what you're having. I told myself earlier I wouldn't go for something heavy. Um, but you know when you're hungry, you just want to go for the heaviest thing. The mixed grill. I've had pizza here before and I've not thought it was amazing. Maybe I might go for a salad. Curry. See, I would have a curry, but it's not good to travel on, is it? Lasagna, salmon, fish and chips. Cauliflower popcorn. Oh yeah, no, we looked at this the other day, didn't we? And I said about going for like the sharer. Chicken wings, loaded nachos with Billy <laughs> beef chili. <laughs> Cheese and bacon loaded potato wedges and this is one of those um portobello mushrooms. <laughs> uh, okay. Never mind. If you you'll get that reference if you've seen our first travel day. No, oh, that's not it. Oh, the big veggie sharer. That sounds good. Crispy cauliflower popcorn, sloppy joe nachos, loaded cheesy potato wedges, garlic flatbread. My results are in. Negative for infection. Oh, yeah. At least you're going, but you can't go on anything anyway. I don't care. <laughs> come on, come on, my one. We just went down to the bar and got our first drinks of the holiday. And yes, his results have just come through. I'm going to have a look. I just bought a slow gin, Warner's. Slow gin and lemonade. And to double up is only 150 extra. So I was like, yep, I'm on holiday. Double that bad boy up. View and download results. Yes. Come on. He's <laughs> killing me. Okay. <gasps> Not detected. Whee! I go on holiday. Does that mean I've got to go with you now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always. Cheers to that. Happy holidays. Alright, so we both had a shower, a little nap and a shower, and actually we're really rushed, we left 45 minutes to get ready, and then Scott goes, oh, it's 20 past, and we're like, oh no, we've only got 10 minutes, I hadn't had any makeup on, or... so we're rushing around a bit, but I think we'll get there, you nearly ready? Yeah. My hair going everywhere, God, so I don't know if you guys want to look at my outfit of the day, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I do look a bit like a referee, if Terry was seeing me now, he probably thinks she's got no business wearing that. <laughs> Red card. You guys may have also noticed that we haven't done a room tour. You know what a premiere in looks like. Um, if you do want to see a room tour, we did do it in our first trip 2017. I'll put that in the um, in the description if anyone's interested in a room tour. But you know what they look like. They're very generic, aren't they? Ready? Yep. Let's go for eat. Go for eat. Go for tea. Go eat. That was such a rush. I feel so underprepared. So Scott is not ready because he's not got his wedding ring on. Do you know where it is though? Okay, cool. Oh, can't you? Yeah. So I had a look at this drinks menu. These look good. I'm going to try and find out what they are. So I think it must be one of these. Like infusions. Gin gin. Very vodka infusions. Vodka lime. Oh, that's just vodka lime soda. That's boring. Orange bliss. I'll try one of them. But actually, I think we're going to share a starter. We haven't decided either between the chicken wings, Korean style, or the cauliflower popcorn. I'm gonna go for the chicken and bacon Caesar salad, which is here. And Scott is fancying a jacket potato with chili, which is like 5 79 that's like, no, we're not looking at prices here, but that is a really good price for a meal too. Our popcorn cauliflower has arrived and they've given us um, uh, like hand towels, so I guess they want you to eat it with your fingers, but it, it looks hot and I'm not gonna. And this little sauce that comes with it is a red pepper harissa. And I don't actually know what harissa is, so it's gonna be interesting to try. Yeah? Is it good? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a curry place. Oh cool, I love that. That's really, really tasty. Scott said that there's like a curry taste and it's actually the harissa sauce, which is like really curry -y. Quite really, spicy. 
Yeah, it's spicy. I love this. Nice and crunchy. Isn't it? Lovely. Really love it. I think we both agree that was really good. Really, really good. I would rave about these. Nice and crunchy, like crispy batter. Even the batter on its own, there's so much flavour in that, and then you add the sauce. Amazing. Lovely. So here's my jacket potato with chilli. Got all the chilies on there. Yeah, it looks spicy. And I got the chicken and bacon Caesar salad. <laughs> so you know, we'll let you know how it is. So I've just tried some, it's really nice. Um, the chilli's quite spicy. Yeah, no complaints. I know it looks a bit like a mess, but actually the chicken is so flavourful. And I, like, as soon as I took a bite, I was like, Scott is going to love this. He, he loves this chicken that's been grilled. And I actually really like your chilli. I think it's quite flavoursome. If a little bit salty, but really, really nice. And here comes with a side salad. So I could do with a little bit more Caesar sauce, but... Do you know what? I'm quite happy with this. It's lovely. We both really enjoyed our meals and this is our bill. So it came to 3257. Sorry, there's a big shadow on it. Something that Scott said was really interesting that like his jacket potato is the same price as like a bomber's. But really good value. So yeah, we're really happy with what we had. And it's an appetite ball, but <laughs> I sat down and Scott's got a high chair and he just feels way out of place. I'm going to change it. <laughs> that better? You don't feel like you stick out like a sore thumb, even though you still do? I already do. <laughs> There's a big queue for, um, for the bar, but... I can't believe I'm busy again. It's so busy. But it's good to see places busy. And we've got our favourite little spot looking out. Looking out onto the monorail. And if anyone is interested, we got our tests done, so see where this elevator is. If you walk down this sort of alleyway here, straight in the double doors, straight into the airport, it'll be right in front of you on the right. Right in front of you on the right. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, we've just come back to the room. We've had a nice couple of drinks. Lovely dinner, didn't we? Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Such good value for money as well. Well, I know it's only like pub grub, isn't it? Yeah. But it's what we wanted when we wanted it and done yeah. well. So that was good. Um, come back to the room, but I'm absolutely freezing. So I've like the blanket I've got for the plane to put on me. It's, it's cold in here. It's chilly in here. I tried to put the heating on earlier, but it didn't work. We've got Spanish thin blood now. <laughs> well, I don't really feel the cold, but I think it's a bit chilly. It is a bit chilly. Um, so we're going to get up super early tomorrow at half past six, probably, probably too early. But, you know, I'd rather have too much time than too little time and be panicking and probably need some breakfast, you know, you've got to go to the toilet and you. <laughs> it's just weird going to bed at this time. Like, I've only just gone 10 o'clock. Yeah. My normal bedtime's 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and that's a, a, good, a good day for you. So, yeah, so I hope you've liked our pre-travel day. We're super excited for tomorrow. So, if you want to join us, look out for the next vlog next week. There's nothing left to say really, but thanks for tuning in and um, here's to another Orlando trip. See you later. Bye.